just climbing this pole. I know somebody with all your problems and all the medical and all this blah 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 and you're so old. What are you doing climbing a pole? Well, I couldn't get you to come over and do it, so I'm gonna do it myself. Anyway, had a security camera go bad. And I can see already from here that it's not gonna work that way, but I'll have to fix that. While I was up here, I uh something come to mind. Got to thinking about nineteen uh, I guess it was seventy one two somewhere around there. And uh up in the northern California an old army base the Marines got and turned it into a training base where they uh, I was in first recon we were training uh, different branches in uh, at that time mountain warfare they also have a I don't know ski warfare we did, uh, all kinds of stuff up there, river crossings. But at the time we were training some Green Berets on mountain climbing and rappelling. And um, me being the boot, the youngest of the bunch, and learning. And I learned from a uh, Gunny Giles who, if you know what the spy rig is, you see it in a movie sometimes, the helicopter comes by, drops a rope down, everybody hooks up and they're flying through the air, yanks them out, well he invented that. And he taught me everything I know about rope, knots, climbing, everything to do with the mountain warfare. He, uh, he gave me a chance, I, I, to do some instructing. And of course I messed up a few times, which cost me a whole bunch of 20 push-ups and one for recon. And the uh, Green Berets got a kick out of that. They're always laughing and joking and forcing around, you know, ha ha, look at these jarheads and Bob and the other stuff. Well, one part of the training that reminded me while I was up that pole uh, I showed them how the, we were going to repel, how they were going to uh, climb a sheer rock face and uh, somebody on belay and, I, and one on rope and I, I'm climbing what to do and what not to do. What, what they didn't know was while they were uh, at lunch, or chow time, but they eat lunch, that I had already come up this cliff and planted a tree, a little small tree up in, in a little crevice up there. And uh, so I'd get up to that point and uh, the instructor down below while I'm doing this says now one thing you got to make sure you don't do you never grab a hold of foliage branches trees anything like that because you can't tell what they are so he says now watch you know get up there and don't do this and about that time I grab that branch yank it out and yell falling well they're all down there talking and having a good old time and laughing my mistakes but as soon as I yell falling and some pebbles little rocks and that branch comes falling out it was instant quiet pure silence they all you know, tuck in a big breath and sucked in all kinds of wind well the guy on the rope up above the safety guy who was supposed to catch me got 
tangled up and slipped a little bit and dropped me about 10, 12 feet down that cliff. So that just added to the uh, whole situation there and the drama and everybody's all quiet and watching me catch myself and the guy is on break and he's got me and everything and continue on with the instruction. And the uh, point is, what I was thinking is, I wonder where some of those guys are now. If anybody ever saw this, remembers, if, and I can't remember the name of the camp. Uh, I, I, it just dawned on me to, to say, say something about this. So if you know somebody that was up there or uh, had been, uh, been in the training that we had in mountain warfare, I'd like to hear from you. See what you thought if you were there. We had thousands. We ran thousands of uh, Green Berets and Special Forces. Um, even had some UDT SEALs going through it. And uh, we trained we trained everybody up there. So, but anybody that went through that training, even if you, you know, I'd really like to hear some from, from some of my guys from First Recon. I'm sorry, I can I've never been able to make any of our reunions, but. Maybe one of these days, you never know. And uh, but let me know. I was just reminiscing. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Take care.